Uh, feels great um, going out there and running routes. Just everything feels like it's back to normal. Um, it was towards the end of the game and just feet got tangled up with somebody and just felt a little uncomfortable. Came out and by the time I was ready to go back out there, the game was over. You know, just one of those sort of things. How do you think OJ filled in as as, as kind of the full time guy against yeah, Chattanooga? I think he did a great job. Um, he just came into his own really quick, and I mean that's always a good thing. Just you want to find your find your rhythm, um, and he just he found it really quick and, and did really well the rest of the game. Feel good to get that first touchdown against Mississippi State, then? Yeah, that was awesome. I've been <laughs> waiting on that one for a while. <laughs> Uh, I don't know who that was. That wasn't me. That was <laughs> completely uncharacteristic. Does anybody need any extra motivation this week? No, I think we all know what's in front of us. Um, I mean, we're going to treat it just like every other game. Uh, win's important for us in getting where we want to go. Um, obviously, it's a rivalry game, so it's, it's big for the fans, but for us, it's just another game that we need to focus on. Is it hard to balance that when you hear so much? I'm sure you hearing about it all week, I mean, even if you don't want to, and from students, fans, whatever. Uh, is it hard to balance that and, and try to stay focused um, like this? No, not really. I mean, if you just approach it as a mindset, is um, you're, you're just going against a team that's done a really good job all year, so it gives you more attention to detail. Um, you know that these guys have been successful with what they've done, and you have to be successful with what you're doing. Hey, Brian, answer your questions to the camera. That way they don't have the side of your head when you're answering. Oh, no, no, no. We're, we're, we're far enough back. Okay, I just want to make sure. Okay. Yeah, I appreciate you. Does it almost kind of feel like the postseason's already here, though? Uh, I wouldn't say so. I mean, every year you play 12 games, you've got to end it with Auburn. So it just feels like the same spot as usual as it's always been. Are your family or friends anything different? Um, well, obviously, I have a lot more family coming in because it's a 30-minute drive for them. Um, got a lot more friends coming in because all my friends went to Auburn out of high school. So um, for them, it's it's pretty cool for them to be able to see me. But other than that, I mean, I'm not going to be able to see them on the field. So <laughs> there's not much I can really do about that. You've outscored them 91 to 14 the last two years. They haven't scored offensive touchdowns since 2010. Brian, is it is it better for the robbery when? Like this year, where they're they're really good, or you know, does 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 it really matter? Well, I think it's sort of irrelevant because it's a whole new coaching staff. You know, I mean, it's not the same guys that we've been. I mean, players-wise, it's the same people, but it's a different scheme. So, I think the past is kind of irrelevant when it comes to this game.